Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. So today I'm going to share with you 10 books that get me started on bioinformatics. So I was trained in the molecular cancer biology wet lab, and it took me over 10 years to convert myself to a computational biologist. So here are the 10 books get, that get me started. So the first book I read was this one, Python Programming for Absolute Beginners. So if you see here, uh, uh, 2012, actually April 24th, I started uh, to learn programming. So this is a good book. I learned quite a bit uh, Python syntax. However, uh, for example, like I wrote my first uh, print Hello World, but this is not a biology focus book. So if I were to start it again today, so I would recommend you to read this book. Advanced Python for Biologists, so by Dr. Martin Jones. And he has two books. One is called just Python for Biologists. And this is the second one for Advanced, advanced uh, Python for Biologists. So uh, by the way, I will have all the links in the description of this video, so make sure you check it out. So this book used uh, real biological uh, data like DNA sequence to demonstrate how can you use Python for data wrangling and data analysis. Okay. The next book is this one, Practical Computing for Biologists. Okay. This is a really, really good book. So I use this uh, as a, a, te a textbook for one of the courses when I was at uh, University of Florida. It's actually surprisingly, the first chapter for this book talks about regular expression. So, you know, bioinformatics deals with uh, a lot of still text files. So learning uh, how to understand uh, regular expression and how to use regular expression to uh, manipulate the, and, and do those text manipulation is critical. So it also covers other uh, topics such as uh, shell, shell uh, scripts, Python. And lastly, also talk about the concepts of actually image, for example, the bitmap based uh, image versus the, the vector based uh, image. So the gel pic, for example, gel picture is a bitmap based. Uh, so all pictures that we take them. So if you zoom in, zoom in, you will see those like small uh, rectangles. And a figure in a PDF file, for example, it's a vector based uh, art. So you can actually zoom in and will not change the resolution. So I find this one is really, really uh, helpful actually for me. So I highly recommend. And this book called Data Science at the Command Line. This is not a biology focused book, but I learned a lot of tricks from this book, uh, how to use Unix commands to wrangle text files. And it has also the second version online for free. So this was the first version I read like many years ago. So I highly recommend this one as well. So after you have gained a little bit uh, experience in the bioinformatics, Python, Unix, and R, I recommend this book called Bioinformatics Data Skills. This book will definitely push your bioinformatics skills to the next level. So it covers a little bit more advanced topics like shell scripts. How can you actually uh, uh, do a robust and reduce bioinformatics and teach you how to use Git and GitHub uh, and uh, how to uh, interact with remote machines. And uh, uh, one of the later chapters talk, also talks about uh, how to use uh, bioconductor genomics grant to uh, deal with the genomic range data. Okay, this uh, later also uh, teaches you how to deal with like sequence data, like uh, FASTA, FASTQ, and BAN files. Okay, I highly recommend this book. Of course, um, I still use R most of the time, and uh, uh, I recommend this book, The Art of R Programming, to get you started with uh, R. So this is actually not biology books either, but it, it's very easy to read and teach you all this basic syntax of R. Okay? So of course, um, if you do bioinformatics, you need to make a lot of beautiful figures. And learning how to use ggplot2 
and this is called uh, R Graphic Cookbook. And I also refer to it say, when I uh, was uh, uh, learning uh, how to use ggplot. Yeah. So it has a lot of uh, uh, references to how to make beautiful figures. It also has a second version now. Uh, I just Googled and uh, uh, it's actually really available online. Okay. So again, those are not biology focused. So if you really want to get into R with the data, um, data analysis for life science, this is a book for you. Data analysis for life science with R by Rafael uh, Irizela and Michael Love. So uh, Rafael is the uh, chair of uh, data science department at Dana Farber and Michael Love, you know, he is a famous uh, author of the DSIG2 package, right? And they also have a, Actually, this is a textbook for the uh, ethics course, actually. Uh, on ethics, there's a course. And uh, I, I took that course for three times. And each time uh, I take it, I kind of understand the material a little bit better. And uh, it just, uh, I think, it shows uh, some encouragement for, for you who, are just started, who just started. I mean, the first time I took it, I mean, I understand it a little bit, but then the second time, the third time, it kind of get reinforced and I understand the material much better. So I highly recommend this one, okay? And if you really want to get into the statistics, and this is a book for you called Modern Statistics for Modern Biology. And this is a really well-written book. Actually. It talks about all the statistical models, like the distributions, how you can model, uh, for example, ionic sequencing count data and talks about p-value, p-value distribution, how to do a multiple comparison correction, all those stuff. Uh, this is a really great book uh, for you to get started. And finally, if you want to learn machine learning stuff, like for analyzing your bio biological data, this is the book for you, an intro introduction to statistical learning with applications in R. So it talks about uh, linear regression and also the the variants like you know, lasso regression, uh, ridge regression, um, and also nonlinear uh, methods such as like uh, random forest and support vector machine. So uh, this is a very good book and also has a course, I think, on edX as well. So you just search, you should find the course. Uh, and more recently, it also has uh, actually a uh, Python version. So if you really want to use Python, you can still uh, get book for Python. So I will, have, I will have the links for this book as well. Okay, that's all for the 10 books. And finally, I also written a book called From Cell Line to Command Line, which covers essential bioinformatics skills, uh, Unix commands, uh, Python, R, and many tips that I've learned uh, over the uh, last decade. Uh, so if you're interested, I'll check out uh, in the description of the, the video. Okay, I think that's it for today, and I will see you next time. Happy learning.